Okay, so here we are. Great big bloody hair there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it now. Um, so I'm going to. I'm not particularly happy with it, to be honest. Um, now coming back to it, what I might. I think what's happening is that the the, the sea and the sky are a little bit too separate. Um, so there should be some sort of tonal, some some colour similarities, and there just there isn't any. So I'm going to just do the, um, a bit of a glazing thing here, just to tie the two together. Um, and I might just use the old, uh, my old faithful um, quinacidrone nickel azo gold, beautiful colour. Um, but it ties things in, and it's kind of it'll make it mine. Um, I've kind of moved away from these sort of colours now. I've gone to the, the browns and I, I kind of like that. So, uh, just to make this a bit more mine, I'm going to put a little bit of that on. And see if I can start the kit. Oh, that'll be just a reflection anyway. So, now it is about making this picture a little bit more mine and then having a bit of fun with it, but um, making sure that I'm really happy for this so that I can move on to the next one or next stage without uh, thinking, oh, something wrong, something wrong. So there's nothing more frustrating because you can't quite pen it down. So I am just going to. Uh, my, this brush is wet from where I just washed it from um, the previous session. So I've got a glaze medium and the brown, or azo gold they call it, which is a stunningly gorgeous colour. And I'm just going to tie the two together. A bit more colour. Brown, everybody's going to say, Oh, you wish you should brown. But I don't care, I love it. And all of them, straight away, I'm feeling better about it. I don't know why that is, I just feel that it's mine. But what I'm going to do, because you've got the gradient stuff coming through anyway, you've got the gradient stuff of the um, sea and the sky coming through. But now it's just tied in together a bit more. And I'm, now I kind of look forward to putting creatures and characters and things in this. So the glaze work, you know, it's still kind of wasted. Poured it all out there, and there's no way I'm ever going to use that amount of broom and brown. I do that all the time. I'll put some clinker over it, maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, it'll survive. So now I've got that down there, and I'm really happy to look, let's try it together automatically. So I've just picked up another brush because I've just dumped the other one in water, so that's of course problems. So just kind of create a little bit more uh, gradient thing. I mean. I guess we all have our things, our favourites. Uh, things that we paint and I think every artist does have their kind of totems and symbols that they like or even just colours that they go to it's their go to thing and it makes for whatever reason that is maybe it just makes you feel good I don't know it doesn't matter really does it I kind of like what's happening with some of the um, this had a bit of water on it this brush and so it's liquidated the or liquefied <laughs> liquidated right, liquefied the paint a little bit more and the paint is now forming this kind of like almost a uh, snake skin texture on that which I like a lot. So I'm going to get a little bit of a shadow one because I want to start picking out some cloud highlights. And with this as a gold, if you do it quite quickly whilst it's wet, you can actually get this kind of thing happening where you see how it pulls the paint to the edge, and it just makes the, the, the it gives it a glow for some reason. Um, and I kind of like that. It really reminds me of some of the pr printing processes when you kind of get a slightly misregistered colour or the colour was forced out. And I really like that as a as a look. So I'm not going to do too much in this because I like that lizard uh, little snake skin texture. And hopefully it will stay. As I kind of get older, I seem to be loosening up a bit with my paint techniques. When I, I kind of would, in the past, I'd, I think everything would have to be perfect, looking good. But now it's just kind of like, oh, I still quite enjoy just letting the paint do its own thing. So you see how those clouds are absolutely glowing now. Just amazing. I'll just put a little down here.
this uh, further away so that the uh, kind of nodules and things will, will be, or the, whatever the bumps and lumps in the clouds will be slightly smaller because they're further away and as you get closer they're going to be a bit bigger. And uh, if I feel like it I might create a little bit of shadow but it may, probably won't. Um, underneath the clouds that is. So, so these are going to be a bit more lumpy because they're closer to you. Generally speaking, clouds are kind of all very similar sort of shapes and sizes. It depends on all sorts of things, whether it's weather and wind conditions and things like that. But that's why I like painting skies because you can do anything and get away with absolutely anything. Well, almost anything. The glaze medium. I've had this brush for absolute years. I think I inherited it from somebody who just gave it, and uh, for some reason, it's one of the best brushes for doing clouds. It's just beautiful. It must be squirrel hair or something like that. I don't know. But there's a trick. That humming in the background you can hear is my fan heater because it is quite cold in here today. Great for paint, not drying, but um, it isn't very nice when you're trying to work. Okay, so just do it in there. And I'm really happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is just pick out the edge of the sea with a nice sharp brush. When I say the edge, the kind of top surface where the, um, so if you imagine the camera, it's half and half. So it's half in the water and half in the sky in the air. Um, and it's going to create a little bit of a lip, which I spoke about on the earlier film. I hope you can see I put my hand in the way. Right, that's, that is good. I'm happy okay with that. That works well for me. Um, so. I could do a little bit of gradient thing in there, maybe I will. But if I add white to that now, it's going to... No, I won't do it now, because um, what will happen is it will pick up the brown and it's going to change the whole kind of dynamics of the thing, really. So I might just leave it and work with that as it is. So I think now I will just wait and tomorrow I will come back and I will do the first thing. First item in the... Uh, well, with the sea or sky, I do not know. Um, I'll work that out when I get there. Thank you very much. Have a nice rest of the day.